everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing very well diwali is very nearby and we all are busy in cleaning every nook and corner of our house isn't it so today i thought of sharing a cleaning motivational video with you all keeping a home clean and organized is just not an easy task so i have learned the easiest method to keep it clean is to have a cleaning routine having a cleaning routine not only makes this task easier but also can make this boring mundane time consuming sometimes overwhelming activity into a fun activity i do may have a daily weekly monthly cleaning routines that i follow which helps me maintain my home in case you are interested to know those cleaning routines please let me know in the comment section below sometimes guys it's just about organizing method that we use can help us maintain an area The organization system that I was following in my son's room was just not effective. Hence, I have done a few changes in his room which has eased my process of cleaning his room and has helped him maintain his room for a longer period of time. And in this video, my son is going to be along with me helping me in the cleaning process. In case you're looking for some cleaning motivation or if you're looking for ideas how you can store and organize items in and around your house, This video is just meant for you. Watch this video till the end. Do not skip in between the video. I am sure this video is going to be very helpful for you. And guys, in case if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, there is a subscribe button right below this video. Please hit on that. Before I talk any further, let's just start cleaning. This is how my son's room looks before the cleaning. There are toys on the chair. table is not organized my son has given me instructions not to disturb his setting on the table hence i am not going to declutter anything here but will try to organize it a bit the mess you see here of curtains that is done by me when i changed the curtains of the living room some days back in case you have not seen that video i will leave a link for you in the description box below and now coming to the area which is of main focus of today's cleaning the open cupboards are not an ideal method to store things i thought it was going to be easier for him to access the items and keep it back in place but clearly this has just led to the room looking more cluttered now let's start cleaning cleaning should always be done from top to bottom I have recently cleaned the fans, fixtures, cobwebs as per my cleaning routine. Hence, luckily, I do not have to do these tasks today. So, I am just going to jump into cleaning the open cupboards. Deep cleaning of cupboards has to be done by removing everything out first, then declutter the items what is not necessary, categorize it and then we are going to organize it back. So me and my son here are just removing all the items out first. My son here is just showing off what he has created with the Legos. Legos are one of his current favorite thing to play with these days. Just look at the dust that is accumulated in all these cupboards. I'm going to clean it with my all-purpose homemade cleaning solution. I have just mixed up water a few drops of dishwashing liquid and some drops of lavender essential oil this solution not only cleans any corner but also leaves it smelling very good i have wiped it down again with a dry cloth after this and also left it to air dry until i finish decluttering and categorizing the items finally the cupboards are clean now let me show you the mess that is created in this room I have categorized the items into school related books, story books, toys, 
drawing items and so on. My son is a big time collector of these hot wheel cars. Moving to the new system I had mentioned to you in the beginning, I have now thought of organizing everything in these boxes. I had a few plastic ones with me and these black ones are new one which I got from Amazon. You get it in different colors in Amazon very easily. These boxes just serves the purpose that I was looking for. They have a handle which is so easy to pull out these boxes from the cupboards. Though they are not very sturdy but they help me keep things organized. You can just put all things in them and keep it in the open cupboards. You can even use them to organize under the bed in case you have space or in any corner where you can dump toys inside them. They are super easy to remove and clean and my son can remove the entire box out, play, write, create whatever he wants with the items in them and keep it back very easily. The topmost shelf has his board games, action figures and his all time favorite card. Next shelf has his school textbooks in one box and the notes in the other box. Third shelf from top has his drawing books, coloring pens, sketch pens in one of the shelf and the other shelf has all of his story books. Percy Jackson books are his favorite as of now. Fourth shelf from top has some bigger toys like his remote control car nerf guns and so on. Other shelf has some smaller knickknack items. I have arranged all his smaller toys in these plastic boxes in the last shelf. I have separated his playing cards in one box, his lego items in another, play plates in another, Jenga toys items in another and so on. How many of you like to play with this Jenga toy? This game in which you stack the blocks and remove it in turn without letting it topple down. This has been one of the games we all played at home during lockdown along with cards. Let me know in the comment section below how have you been keeping your kids busy during lockdown. These are his stamp collection. And the last box has his other toys like baseball, TT racket, skates and so on. Moving to cleaning the table. Like I said earlier, first remove all the items. This table has accumulated a lot of dust in this time. The table you are looking at is a small DIY that I had done some time back. Let me show you how this table looked earlier. Yes, it is a very old fashioned table. I painted the table white and covered its top with the marble like looking PVC self adhesive sticker papers. I feel this looks much brighter and better. This is a Easiest method to convert an old fashioned table to your need. I was not allowed to throw away any of the pens or even rearrange them in the holders. Hence, I have only cleaned the table, organized them in smaller baskets. Next, I changed the bed sheet and put a clean and fresh one on top. successful in passing some motivation to clean in this video. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button and be a part of this virtual family with me. So until next time, stay blessed, stay safe and happy.